How can I accept my depersonalization? That seems to be the million dollar question. I often get asked from me by people who reach out to me through my blog uh, about you know, how to accept their depersonalization, how to accept their anxiety. Uh, and it can get a little confusing because acceptance on the one hand seems to be a simple concept, but people can get a little confused about whether do it, they're doing it right or whether it's working for them or, or not. Um, so what I would like to tell people is that Think of your depersonalization as an itch, you know, and whenever you have an itch, your first instinct is, is to scratch, you know, because that makes you feel good, uh, because that relieves the itching, you know, and that's what your instincts are telling you to do. And most, you know, you know, sometimes that works, you know, sometimes there is an itch and you scratch it away and then it goes away, you know, but then there is like a special kind of itch. Maybe you got bit by a tick or something where you you scratch that itch and then it just aggravates it it makes it worse you know and it leaves your skin with lesions and whatnot and maybe you even start bleeding you know i don't want to get too gross here but you know you know what i'm talking about right there are certain itches you shouldn't scratch and what your instinct or tell you precisely is that do you know go ahead and scratch it because it'll make you feel good in the short term but in the long term it's going to ruin your skin it's going to cause you more pain and i think about depersonalization or anxiety as that kind of itch where i shouldn't really be scratching it but my instincts are telling me to scratch it so to put it into perspective your instincts are telling you to fight or resist the depersonalization and the anxiety, but that's precisely what we shouldn't be doing. We should be doing the opposite of it. We should just let go and surrender and be able to like, you know, let the anxiety or the depersonalization just rise and fall off, rise and fall off. Even if it can feel a little unpleasant, you know, it's, it's just like, Think about the time where you felt like you really wanted to scratch that itch, but you just remained calm and you just took a breath and just said, you know what, I'm not gonna do it because doing that will make it worse. So next time when you have anxiety or depersonalization and you wanna fight it or resist it, just take a deep breath and let tell yourself, I'm gonna surrender to this. I'm just gonna let go. I'm not going to indulge in fighting or resisting it. I'm just going to think of this as a scratch. I'm sorry, I'm just going to think of this as an itch that I, that I want to scratch, but I'm not going to scratch. That, that's how I see anxiety or depression. And I'm sorry, that's how I see anxiety or depersonalization. And it really helps me to just like let go and surrender instead of wanting to like put up a fight or clench and just like, you know, resist that, resist feeling that. Um, because at the end of the day, you know, they're just feelings, you know, they're just symptoms, they're just sensations. Um, so I try to just give into it and I try to feel into it and I just like, you know, let it run its course. And that's what happens. Like sometimes when like, you know, sometimes, I don't know, people who have meditated, who, who know, like, you know, because when you're meditating and you feel this like itch that you want to scratch, and then you put all of your focus on that itch and you don't scratch it, you see that it just like tends to like bubble up and then it just fades away. Or you get distracted by something else. Like, you know, and that's what happens with anxiety too. Like if you don't keep scratching that anxiety itch, it just comes up and then it'll just go away. Maybe it'll come back again, but you don't, you, you start paying attention to other things in your life, you know. Just, you know, try to see your anxiety like that and see, uh, try to see your depersonalization like that and try to see if that helps you. It, it really does help me to just view anxiety or depersonalization as just like itch that I will want to scratch, but I'm not going to.